attempts, and we're in well over the 400 kilo. Now he can stand in here. He can take a good shot at winning the gold. Um, Konovalov, Sevistov, um, Capolino, and Sumner. One of them is going to win the gold. Yeah, look, and this is where it always gets really interesting with the with the super heavyweights, these squats and the opening squats. You know, we always talk about you've got to get them on the board. You know, when you get your super heavyweights, you know, some of these guys have got a history of missing oh, yeah. two and not getting to their third. Let's yeah, see how awesome. he goes though. And wow, two reds not getting down low enough. Now I can say now, no one because no one knows, no one's really paying attention to this at this moment to be able to do anything about it. But Joey Capolino. Hit a 475 in training. I saw the video. It was looked light on his back, but again, is he going to be able to get the depth right now? If he's going to get to that point, he's got to go 435 here for his opener. All right, let's see if we can get it on the board. 435 walkout, very comfortable. Dips in at the bottom there. There he goes. He handles it. It should See be three reset. whites. Oh, three red lights. Let's have a look at the replay. Feel that because it's three red. Three red lights. We have a five-man jury here for an overturn. It takes a three-to-two vote of the jury to do that. Right now, Andre Konovalov is opening at 445. And guys, don't cut, don't count out Julian J.K. Johansson getting on the medal stand if a couple of these guys make mistakes. Yeah, look, the super heavyweight. Heavyweights are always, always exciting, especially in the squats. Stands wow. up very Boy, easily, 445, and it's very light. Uh, Played fullback, defensive tackle, linebacker. And now, now a super heavyweight power lifter. Imagine this guy running the ball at you. Blaine Subner, 465. Look at this here. He makes the rack look small. He makes the bar look small. He is one of the thickest people I've ever seen. And you see him. I mean, he's huge. But you get close, he's smaller than he looks in a way because he's so tight. Def looks good from this angle. We'll wait and see what the referees have got to say. And it's yes. on the board at 465. All right, game is on here. So it is a lot harder. They have to be judged to exactly the same standard, but it's harder to see. You have more spotters and loaders out there. There's more tension from the audience. And 400 kilograms for Julian Johansson from Iceland for a personal best. Now watch him get under there. You can see there's kind of a crease where he bends under. And that's the crease the referee's looking to pick up. See that crease still stays in the suit. That needs to get below the top of the knee. And it looks like he might have it there. Oh, he's had to work hard for that one. Let's see what the referees are saying. Yes. And there he goes. Lift, 400. Russia to vault above Ukraine and steal that gold medal. Yeah, 425 is, is well below striking range for him. Oh, yeah. It's really just about depth. The weight is not an issue. And he, He's, he's a very, very big man, but he really needs to convince the referees that he's hitting depth on these squats. Yeah, I mean, he's hit 452 and a half before, so this is well within his capabilities. But he hasn't made a really big attempt that, from wow, all that, looked seen, that looked a lot better. That looked very easy and much and easier. It is there you go. Three white lines. hit in World Open Championship since 2011. Yeah, so he's got a PB a, a lot bigger than that, but it's been quite some time since he's hit hit that sort of number in an international event. Yeah, 2014 15 in there was probably the top of what he's done right now. Joey Capolino, this is an easy weight on his back. He did 475 in training. This is 435. He just cut it a little bit. I almost think a little more weight will help him get down more, but we have to see. He's got to get this in here. Go. 
Yeah, he's oh. look, he just cut that shot oh, as well. And you can see he didn't get the acceleration. He's put himself under a bit of pressure now. I mean, Joe normally gets a bent, uh, gets a squad in. Four seven five on the bar. Kind of off from Russia. Got a 4.45 opener and it's now jumped to a massive 4.75, which is not unusual at all for these guys. Now it's a 30, 30 kilo jump, I like it. Blaine Sumner took the 10 kilo jump, 4.65 to 4.75. Kanavalov puts a lot of pressure on Blaine to come back and hit this. Doesn't look super comfortable in the walk out there. You know what? That I looked think a little sketchy at the yeah, time. Yeah, I think he might have doubled a little bit. We'll wait and see. And he's high, it looks like there. Doesn't look like he was sinking that one. No, it, it, that's not, you hear the, the buzz in the crowd, they know. Yeah, three red lights, he knew it as well. And Blaine hits his 475. He can then take a big jump maybe and go after something if he wants to. If not, just stay in the flow, try to get the first 700 Wilkes. Four, seven, five on the bar. Got a little Boy. bit off balance there. Little Managed little to balance. regain though. Yeah, but it looked Let's high. It didn't look and like it was. It was high. Yeah. <laughs> David Lupash did very well in the World Games. When we got to Pilsen last year, there was a giant poster on the side covering one whole side of a building of him. Wow, they they really do take this sport seriously. In Norway, we had uh, they had some of their champions on the side to the buses so and we, the bus stops. We say giant poster, but it was just life-size, really. Yes, exactly, just life-size. Oh, he's working it through. He gets to the top, he looked, the depth JK. looks good, and he gets there two he to one. It's on the board with 410, and we said. 435 kilograms. Missed once, missed twice. All he's got to do is just sink it down a little bit further, get some good acceleration out of the bottom, and you'll put this one on the board. Yeah, Joe is 30 years old. I've known him since he was 20. Known him well since he was 20. This, I, I'm on the edge of my seat right here for him. Death looks a lot better. He's having to work, but he gets to the top. That should be a good lift. Said, look good. Not deep enough, but the U.S. coach is getting straight to the jury on that the one. I'm watching we'll have the a look jury. At the so he'll get the 435 on the board. There we go. So he saved his skin by the jury. Right now, though, Vladimir Vitsinov from the Ukraine. 4475 on the bar. So, Norm, the most championships we have a three man jury must be unanimous. Three to zero to overturn. Five man jury, you need the same three votes. So three to two will do it, and I guess it did it there for Joe. You have some days where you just win them. You know it happens. We've had a few. Four forty-seven and a half. Just look at the size of him. The spotters barely come up to his shoulder. Weight was easy, but I don't wow. think he was down enough. That Let's wait easy. and see. And he was, though. Three white lights. Hard to do. And here he comes. Andre Karavalov from Russia. 4-7-5. He missed this on his second. He really needs to put this on the board to keep putting pressure on Blaine Sumner. Both he and Blaine Sumner missed 4-75. 4.75, he just needs to sink it in. If he makes this, he gets, he is 10 kilos ahead of Sumner in squat, but Sumner has a chance to respond. He's taking the 4.75 right following Cannavale. Let's see if he looks a bit more comfortable this time. 
It looks a bit more relaxed under that bar this time. He stands it up. Was it enough? Let's see. It is. There three white lights with 475 on the board, and the pressure is on Blaine Summer. So right now, kind of Olof is in the gold medal position for the squad. So Blaine came in here to win gold. Kind of Olof took it from him. Right now, Blaine's just trying to hit this 475 to keep pace with him in the total. Blaine's got a big. Oh, it's a little off balance, but he gets well, it back see, there. Let's see how the depth is. It looked easy. And nah, getting down low enough, three to one. You know.